That's a it's good like time. A, record, a whole record of party in a box. They had me go to Hollywood and read for this part for this big time TV show. And the lady says, okay, here's your lines. And I'm going to say the other lines. And I'll just say them off camera. And then I'll say them to you. And then we'll just go back and forth. And so she said her line. And then I said my line. And when I said my line, she went like that to me. If somebody did that to you, would that upset you? I felt upset. Yeah, that upset me. It freaked me, me out so bad. <laughs> I sucked. I totally tanked. They called my agent, told them that I sucked, and... Fucking microphone shit. These guys, I'm sorry. One more day with these fucking tit squibblers. So, I've signed all these deals, and they're all waiting for me to make a TV show, and I, I, I can't do it. I don't think I can do it. So I'm, I'm in hiding. I don't know when it's going to end. I don't know how it's going to end. It's not going to end well. That's for sure. Not going to end well. I don't know. You know. Man, when Gary Coleman was sick, me and Elvis drove like three states to see him. He fucking, uh, he wouldn't do, I said, dude, that, what you talking about, Willis? And he was a dick about it. You want some drugs? 
I got. Uh, what you want? We got some Push wine. It. We got wine oh, okay. and water acid. Good. All right, God, this. Don't film her taking blotter acid. Dick whistles. Fucked are up you, your take. Are you okay? What happened? <laughs> Did you? I've got fucking clean clothes on. I have it. What? The solution to your thing with the show. Oh God! I don't even want to think about it. It's not yes, happening. You do because None of it's happening. I'm, I'm gonna solve all those problems for you. Is that a Peter Frampton tube? Hey, I. And, hey, I'm going to do the show for you. I'm going to put on the fucking Elizabeth Cook show. Make it at the Big Purple, the fucking world headquarters. We go right to... That was a stage move. That Just was. tell me what I got to do, because all I'm thinking is I put some singers in there, I get a comedian or some shit, I get my friend that my pot dealer knows that builds stages. I thought this through. I fucking had... Was, I was... Since when? Since, like... After I saw you... I walked back to my house, changed, <clears throat> and then at some point there... And I appreciate you trying to work on my soul, because I know I have a problem, and mm -hmm. I you, I know that you see how it's doing me, and we need a way out, but I, I don't know... I see that you're stressed. You say you don't like Hollywood. You say you don't like New York. Do you feel... I can't. We make it right in town, and everybody will be like, oh, how cool, Elizabeth did the show right in town. Yeah. And I'll be like... Okay, Elizabeth, you're <laughs> on. And we'll make up jokes. You have to Me get a phone, though. I I'll mean, you don't have a phone. You. Do you, uh, are you going to get a phone? Well. Well. I got Elvis. <laughs> Smoking on black Cadillac. And then wind down. Foggy up on the sidewalk. Blacky on the whole downtown. I would hear him talking to some. Through a thick ghost of smoke Through a thicker haze of a southern comfort and cold Say, girl, you're hotter than hand, yeah Hanging off a gate of hell Don't be afraid Bad time? Yeah, yeah, come on no, in. come, come on. Here. I gotta. Is it okay? I swear, these guys with this crew, I'm making a documentary. They're higher than me, man. We've been yeah. up for two days. Can they come in? Sure, sure. Come sure. On. It's all right. It's all right. Close the door. Close the door. You close the door. Tony. Hey, what can Thank I do you for you today? Thank you for having me so early, man. I got to get, um, well, I got to get more blow than usual. I got to get, like, my triple blow. I got a show I'm doing this week, so I need to get, okay, blow for, uh, what's, and then 
I need mu uh, and mushrooms, a fuckload of mushrooms. Mush if I got can. the mushrooms. Acid, you got acid? Got the acid. Um, what's the thing? M. What are the kids with the MGMA or the M? We used to call it ecstasy. A lot of X, a lot of X. Okay, and then give me a second. Pot, ton of pot. No pot. You don't have no pot. I can get pot, I'm sure. Right there, baby. Uh, ton. Uh, what else? Uh, I, I'm known for getting something. Yeah. Oh, pain pills. Pain pills. Uh, Lots stay of right there. I like that. Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> I got. Right. One of you. Uh, ah, just you give me a minute. It. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Still here, brother. Yeah, I know. I got a got lot of Elvis in the car. Busy day today. Busy day today. All right, all right. You don't have any little blow I could have while I'm waiting. I got a piano. I got a guitar. There's some porn on the DVD. Dude, this but, reminds uh, me. I swear, one time I was in Memphis at this fucking crack house. I wasn't there for crack, <laughs> man. But I walk into that fucking place and there's a baby on the floor, and I say, "Whose fucking baby is this?" And nobody knew. How's that for dark shit? <laughs> Let's not get this. Thing. I don't want to. <laughs> hey, you want stuff? I, I, I don't mean stuff. to. Hey, I, I don't want to complain. You're the last guy in this town that anybody wants to piss off. I'm comfortable. Do the laid back thing. All right. You're thanks. good at that. <laughs> you do that. Yeah. I'll do it better. Hi. Loud a little bit louder. The would yell about the band to play a trick. Todd Snyder, you uh -huh. Todd? Yeah. Hey man, I'm I'm Sonny. Sonny. I came to you. I saw your show at the Ryman. Yeah. It was great, you man. You know, I, uh, you know, uh, Patone. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Him, I know. The same reason. Sam, I am. everybody comes here for the same. I got to pick up some stuff for a guy. You yeah, know? for a guy. But your show was great. You know, I really, I, I love you, man. Except, you know, all the stories and stuff. I mean. You know, it's kind of like begging, don't you think? You know, you, you can just do your music, let your music tell the stories. You got great stories when they're in the song. I mean, do you see Dylan doing that? No. But I mean, it was a great show. I just thought, you know, there might be one or two things you could do to make it better. You know, like, what's her name? Beyonce at the Super Bowl had those things that shot people out of the floor and smoke and lights and all that. I got that shit. I'm not criticizing. I loved it. I, I'm gonna. Hey, 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 man, good seeing you. Good yeah, seeing you. Yeah, really it. Thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate you, buddy. You got it. Tell Tim McGraw we said hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked with him too. <laughs> Man, I got it. I got some things going on, man. All right. Hey, bust my ball. I always take care of you. Know? I know. Hey. Hey. Okay. hey, listen. Okay. okay. Sorry. Hey, you know, okay. my wife busts my ball all the time. Just, yeah. You know. Yeah, I'll do whatever you want. You <laughs> tell just, me if this is you... too loud. Hey, shh. Relax. Okay. Chill. All right. Fucking do not make this guy mad. You hear me? I'm not even gonna fuck with this no more. Let's just wait. <clears throat> you got, we shouldn't have done this. He's freaking out, I think. A little like our usual deal, but then like a little bit more for the sleep thing, okay? And a little panic here and there, so just sprinkle that in. Probably, yeah, yeah, probably, but not for long. Yeah, I 
Yeah. Not for long. What are you What are you up to? I have been waiting here for a fucking hour. Oh really? Yeah, oh. I gotta make it a big fucking order though. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. I got a pillowcase yeah. coming. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like in a big hurry. Oh, that triggers at the vet. It's got some oh, kind of yeah. parasite or something, and and that I've got. Dog. Yeah. He's got a what? A, a, maybe a parasite or something like that. Oh, yeah, shit. it's like belly's like hard and bloated and yeah, you know, it's, it's weird. So. How's Tim? He's good. His belly is hard and bloated too. So I don't know what that is. Something's going around. But um, you know, I got these leggings at um, Moss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just love that. Love that uh, over there. It's great. Did you say Tim's belly was him? Oh, but what? <coughs> some folks like it cold, some like it hot. But I got something that'll always hit the spot. Satisfaction guaranteed. It's copper tea on me. If you're up for the bottomless cup, the second one's on me. And if you still want to refill, I'll fill you up for free. If you don't like mocha and tea, ain't your bag. A little half and half decaf only makes you drag. We ain't got no Coke machine. It's coffee tea on me. Coffee tea on me. Coffee tea on me. Coffee tea on me. Even our drug dealers are better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, this is the Turbo Fruits, ladies and gentlemen, the best rock and roll band in our neighborhood. As we make our East Nashville documentary, and they were gonna rehearse, and I fucked it up uh, and booked a band that's not even from our side of town. And now we almost uh, you know where? Hey, don't we have to stop by my house to get a guitar first too? So two do guitars. that. Do we need two guitars? I'll get it. And then uh, if you have one of those little pocket amps, you know, electric. Hey man, you know, sorry about the rehearsal thing. I know there's a place that we can go. I got, and we're getting some shit done here, right? You guys sound great in the van. Yeah. This is a better place to rehearse anyway. We're, we're all tight and close. We can feel each other's <laughs> presences. Yeah, I can't feel my fucking Yeah, you can. Yeah. All right, I'll I'm gonna do the intro He's part. Right. And we'll just go for it. I got nowhere to lean, dude. Let's try to pretend oh, we're not in the uh, goddamn You're playing my base your shoulder, dude. I'm back here with a fucking gorilla. <laughs> gotta hit right there. Call the count out. Hey, what's dude, my comment, dude? dude? Oh. Too much dope. And I told him that it's good for the soul. For my soul. For my soul. It's for the soul. So I just said I'm having too much fun. And I told him that I ain't the only one. The only one having all this fun. And I said I ain't the only one having all this PCP, uh, MDMA, these marijuana. This? It's a long list, Todd. But what's it from? It's from your last blood work. Oh, this time today? I just said I'm gonna break my mind. I told him that's just fine. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live the way I want. I just said I better stay in line. I told him that would be you stay in line Cause I just want to do a lie I said I ain't the only one Having all this fun I said I ain't the only one Having all this fun Paul McCartney got arrested for all them drugs in Japan and they found out he was a musician. The judge was like, oh, why, why didn't someone tell me that, you know? 
And then they sent him home. It's just how, you know, everybody's got a thing that's fucked up because of their gig. I have the best diseases in the building. Motherfuckers are rushing it. As close as we are, Matt, I should be so deep inside you, I can keep time. <laughs> yeah, we'll feel me, man. I'm not talking about Elvis and Brian. What is that, Consville? Uh. The hook? Yeah. You do just a few lines a day. Yeah. One or two full mushrooms. I'm not kidding. Go past three. I don't want to talk to you. How much do again? How much coke? Four lines. Four lines? Two mushrooms. Okay. All right? Yeah. You know, if I had Xanax, if I had a script, I probably wouldn't drink as much. It's just something Take to think about. Up. Yeah. Got that one practice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. You're having way too much fun. There's only one way to know how far is far enough, and that is to go too far and then back up. <laughs> where are we? Do you guys even know where we are? Shelby Greenway. I yeah. feel like we've yeah. got plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby Bonds. Uh, didn't realize we we're gonna practice hey, in a park, this, man. Hey, is that gonna be? Oh fuck, that's gonna like be a baseball come up some, field man. again. I feel oh, like man, you're Shelby Bonds. Come here. up some, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Really you gotta. How often do you guys do Nashville? Uh, kind of like three, four times a year now. <laughs> and then for gig night, we do your show right over there. Yeah. It'll like be gig, easy. When you say gig night, it's a show. I mean, oh, like East Nashville the tonight with your star. Da, da, ba, ba, Elizabeth East Cook. Nashville tonight, like. Well, do you name it? Horns. Horns? You want horns? I give you horns. You you name I mean, something. I think, uh, Try test me. I'm the skiplets of my time. Uh, what do you need? I'll get it here for free tonight. For free. Do you want a human toe, well, dude? Well, I'll that's one thing we, when we got to talk about. I mean, it takes money. People that Don't, do no, this, it doesn't. I mean, you see like no, Chelsea Bailey, and she's like, woo, lights, and I'm projected on a building, and woo, check me out, and I got hair and makeup, and I mean, we need like money. No, I mean, we don't. I, and I want to like in here all the time. Yeah, world headquarters. Yeah, I was going to say, what's wrong with this? For like our meetings. We have a, we, we run the show out of here, and we film it right up there, and we bring a crowd in. You go up and do a monologue. We have a guest, whatever like guest you want. The, I'll get the guest. That's I'll, the stage. Yeah. On that. That's um, where we do the show. What's different than on, this? Is like you said. What was the, sh the theater you said that nobody even goes Ed, to anymore? Ed, Ed Sullivan yeah. Theater. This, this, well, this would be the same. That like the Ed Sullivan Theater. Yeah, like I did that. that uh, yeah. With the carpet. Yeah. Duct tape. Well, they like didn't that. have theirs. Wasn't as you know tricked out is ours, but uh, got poker chips, got a bong. You know, I love you. Yeah. You know, you're my baby funk soul brother. Yeah. You know, I want to do You're not going to you reject know, me right know, now. We're doing know. this. Don't uh, break up with me here. You know, I uh, don't Should. Uh, you know, my ass. Like, here's the line. Here's my ass. Costs no it's money. It's like one butt cheeks right here and one butt cheeks right here. And there's the line. And that my ass is on it. That's so why we need that. Have you ever heard the When You're On Thin Ice? Boogie. If I could. If I could. Well, then I would. Then I would. If I can make money doing something I love, thank my lucky stars above. If I could make my living go and fetch I would make my living with a line and pole. Put food on the table, pay the money to the landlord, buy some work and clothes, but I ain't making money, pay the guitar. Put food on the table, pay the money to the landlord, buy some work and clothes, but I ain't making money going fishing like I'm paid at the factory. Put food on the table, pay the money to the landlord, buy some work and clothes, but I ain't making money going fishing like I'm paid at the factory. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, I'm pretty good. So he wants to make a talk show. Let me just. I've done that song since I was fucking. Maybe this is the talk show. Maybe all you do is sit around a table. Like poker after dark. But we like couldn't set it up. Like no, that. just a less less formal than that. Like the talk, only less annoying. Oh God. Well, you know that's I mean? why we have the jackhammer. Yeah, that. <laughs> that's <laughs> the annoying yeah. part. What, yeah. could, would you, what could you the play? Like that. How can you make a song called Jackhammer? That way we don't have to talk. <laughs> I don't want to 
listen to a jackhammer. I'm trying to make up a talk show. We're trying to make up a talk show. scraping like what the hell is that Damn, look out and some jeep had run over our stop sign at 18 oh, wow. <laughs> and like completely that taking it out and oh my god it hey what is that Take five. This is the fucking shit you did in there. That's the real ones. Oh, wow. It's heavy, man. It's heavy. So heavy on my soul. Are you gonna, yeah, we should put these up. It hurts me. The, to, the, really? It stresses me out to fucking laugh. Did people laugh? Did you tell jokes? Yes. Were you there, too? Yeah. Where were you? Uh, in the audience. Just was, like where, though? Like, uh, at first, I was standing behind all the seats because we walked in at the end of the Letterman show that he was shooting, and when he was done, he told his audience to stick around if they wanted and that they were going to do this. And so mo almost everyone, st well, a lot of them stayed. Yeah. And, uh, and so we stood at the back of the whole audience and watched that shit. You know, and then after a while, we like saw some seats down, and we went out and sat down and then watched the latter uh. half of it. I can't imagine the pressure, man. I appeared on The Late Show back in August, and we had so much fun, they thought maybe I should try to be on television. A David Letterman. Yeah, which so is these are thing. Had to, had like, to, like shoot a sort of a pilot almost for a show. One of my 15, show? yeah, fucking right you know, after deals Dave's that lawyers show. that I haven't even on seen. His set. Like, that Same deal house. could be over, and I don't know, because I don't know when it started, and I don't know when it started. Right, ended. right. So they said, well... When she's in town, we'll shoot a, a mock talk show with her, just a little snippet, just to, you know, see how it goes, and we'll make a little set, and just, you know, just to sort of see how it feels. And so I was like, all right, and I tried to wrap my head around that, and I really couldn't, but as I got close to it, I realized that it was happening, because he had a segment producer call me, and they got a guest, and my list of guests were like John Hamm, or, you know, Seth Meyers, or who did I want to interview? You made a list. Someone said make yeah, a list. Yeah, and I inter ended up interviewing Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> nice. Yes, and so he came... Like, okay, so then I had to, like, they gave me all this stuff on Anthony Bourdain, and I had to write a five-minute monologue, which I wrote in a van in front of the Night Cat in fucking Easton, Maryland, <laughs> and I'd never done before oh and God. still don't know how to do. You are shit. And then, the night and God, I mean, I was PMS out of my brains. I mean, my ovaries are coming out of my ears. I'm so stressed out. Dave got through doing his show on a Monday night, and he walked out to the audience, and he said, ladies and gentlemen, I can't do this forever. We have a special thing going on now. If you want to hang around, I know some of you have dinner reservations, but if you want to stay, we've got some young talent that we're working with, and blah, blah, So, show So me. then, yeah, so then they, like, started playing El Camino on a loop, and the guy goes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Elizabeth Cup show. I walked out, and I did a monologue. And Was there someone to check? Did you have someone that said, what's your monologue going to be? Yeah. Yeah, they went over it with me. And they were like, oh, it's I would great. think that would be like, hard. Oh, no, it's great. I know, that part alone. Yeah. So hard. And they so were just hard. going, great. And I was literally, you know Biff? Biff? Yeah. yeah. I was holding 
hands with him. He was holding my hand. I was so mortified. And so then I walked out. I did the monologue nervously. Then the guy's going, go to commercial. Go to commercial. This is a C. means go to commercial. So they're behind the camera. Then they're, go to commercial. All the union dudes, you know. And so I was like, all right. And when we come back, we're going to talk to Anthony Bourdain. And so they went away. And then they brought out Anthony Bourdain. And he sat with me. And we did two segments of interview together, about five minutes a piece. The whole thing was is about an 18 or 20 minute reel. Did it come out good? I have you know. seen it? Yeah, I have it. Is Bourdain a dick? No, he's great. One, two, three, four. It's called Dave Rose Blue. <laughs> <laughs> right. He played the upper right bass. On the road with Johnny Cash. His mother opened up his suitcase, pulled out his marijuana stash. She said, uh, I found your hair on. He said, No, mama, that's just marijuana. She said, No, it's dope, it's dope, and you're high up on it. Dope is dope, and you're high. I like ladies. you so much. <laughs> you're, you're awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Dope is dope, and you'll hide him alone. You got heroin in my cocaine. You got cocaine in my heroin. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mothers go to sleep at night, hoping their children don't end up at parties like this. <laughs> Germany, and this guy was like yelling at him. He's like, "What?" And this guy was Keurig from the Keurig Coffee oh, Empire. Wow. Paid him a hundred grand to play a house party with prostitutes and drugs, and he gave him all oh, Keurig shit. machines what? and road kits. You gotta tell that story. I will. These so, guys aren't part of the thing you're asking. Okay. About. This well, what, what was? But what was the show you were talking about? Like, I can't, I don't remember because I was tripping balls like three days ago, and I saw her <laughs> in the park, <clears> and she told me she was having a hard time putting the show together. And then later that TV same show? day, a TV show. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then later that same day, I was still out with, I think it was with Paul or something. We were still roaring, and I somehow talked her into giving me a shot at producing the show for David Letterman, you know what I mean? Jesus. We're going to do it at All our right. rehearsal hall. Okay. If you'd be in it, man, that would make, that would at least make it so we could put a show on for at least one time, you know? I'd be willing to be in it. I got time. I could stay in town an extra day or so if that would, if that yeah. would make a difference. And do an interview. She wants me to pre-interview everybody. Let's, a uh, pre-interview? I'll go, I'll run you over by her house. What? Like, She'd say, like, where, you know, I don't even know if you, I know where you're from, Illinois? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't, that story's been told a yeah. lot. I don't know well, if people even need that. Well, you know what Sukuna want to hear is about the fight, but when you and Ben <coughs> fought, and then he ran outside and hit somebody and else. Now, we, that's the story. That I don't know if that told. story needs to be told, but, you know, but then maybe stuff. if we, if we got, like, some mushrooms. Oh, I that's be it. willing to tell you whatever oh. story you'd like. I'll make more shit up than you can imagine. Done. Well, that's the easiest thing we do in this town.
when microphone stands attack. This one making movies and all that. <laughs> Where I was? Okay, try it. Oh. So if you tell stories like that, or maybe we'll go out tonight and have one. Oh, there it is. Elvis. There it is. See? This car runs perfect. I told you guys. That sounds a little... No, no, but it'll be fun. No. Once we get moving, we'll be all right. As long yeah. as it gets us to mushroom land. Hey, look, where's that dope? All right, so we're going to go get some shrooms. You sure you don't want to come with us, man? Elvis, 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 Elvis. See, because, and the thing is, I'm glad you came, because his penis I've seen, Vince's penis I've seen, yours I haven't. <laughs> wow. So here's a very mysterious <laughs> we penis. Have very oh, much. Man, I ain't going, guys. I'm oh. out. I'm out. Elvis! Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm not comfortable with that. Did I throw him? With Worst the skinny tour dipping. manager of all Listen. times. All times. <laughs> It was a pig farm, and we were playing for a pig farm. And then afterwards, uh, I forgot that we, I th kept thinking we were still supposed to play. And then the next day, I heard a tape of it. We were fucking spot on. You're on fire, yeah. On fire. That's how it always works. It's, yeah. Well, because you're not thinking of anything. Right, that's what I think. I, I was trying what, to keep the pigs off the and stage. This is, when, this, is, this is what always happens <laughs> when you get the mushrooms, finally. Yeah. It makes me think of all of my favorite times high on mushrooms. Oh, me too. We're about, do I just, we, did you already eat yours? Because I'm fucking about 20 minutes away from takeoff. I have a feeling I'm right there with you. I know. Uh, Peanut and butter and banana. It Drifters said, Elvis banana. called Drifters and said that me and you were just going to go in there and play at 7. Do they have any gear? I don't have shit. Yeah, they got all that okay, crap cool. down there. I got my instrument, but yeah. as long as they got all that shit, I won't even know. I appear, more than likely, right. I'll be plugging a boa constrictor into a into That's an wild. armadillo's back, and That's then I'll, I'm interested. <laughs> once I sprout the angel wings, I'll be I'll be good to go. <laughs> Starting to feel fucking good, man. We're about, we're. I'm starting. It's uh, the the hood down for a minute. I thought the roof was actually up, um, and I just thought you had the fucking AC on for a minute. But it, uh, man, I can't. I don't even know if I can get into that right now. <laughs> you caught me. I'm starting. I, right, I'm starting all right, to. All right. It's it's beginning to be a slight bit of an effort to just kind of sit still. I feel like I need to do. We're playing. We're doing the gig. Yes, it's, we're on our way to it. We'll be there. Let's in a focus I'll on the. Stop let's focus okay. on the gig. I was. The that's it. Pre-interview over. This is the longest. We, I think the pre-interview has turned into an interview, interview. And then now we're doing the exit interview. You're, touche, my friend. Touche. I'm just saying. Let's. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's jam. It, Should. I don't know. Um, no, I'm not. I, I think, think I, we might have passed this house before. Which one? That one. That one. Yeah, Which, that looks incredibly familiar. Have we? My should neighbor. we get there? <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. 
Oh, there are more hills in this neighborhood than the last time I realized it. <laughs> At least I pray that there are. It's always when I yawn. <coughs> I, I feel like, I feel like we need something, we need something to sell. Like besides like, the show? I have an idea of what we can sell. And, yeah, well, I, I'm in. Okay. Uh, just roll with me, okay? Like, don't, don't be like judgmental right away or Turn anything. A new just be like, just relax and just like let your imagination sort of like, you know, flow. Uh, <coughs> yeah. You feel I'm good? In. Clear the lungs? Yeah. Okay, I'm I want you to just put this on me. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Just keep them closed. Just be still. Are your eyes closed? Yeah. Breathe. Do you <laughs> what about it? Can I open my eyes? Yeah. yeah okay. Is it drugs? <laughs> well, that's a thought. It could be. Perfume, you mean? Essence of East Nashville. I fucking I think that's a great okay. idea. Okay. Is that you it? Do? Let me do it again. Now, do? Let me think, now, now let okay. me smell it. Oh, you want to try now, it again? Let me smell okay, it, yeah. now, now with that in mind. Okay, just think. Okay. Okay. Just start off singing, right? Is that right? Like I, I kind of sp I spaced you like at the beginning. I, I I thought you were going a different way with that. Will you tell me that again? We're making a commercial, right? We're, I need to. Make, I want. I feel like my sense is that we need to make this commercial for the fragrance. Boy, I like this. But this is a bomb. Is this a bong? No, no, well, it doesn't matter. It's, it do it's, it's this doubles as a bong. I work what I had to work with. So oh, I, I think that's, about, that's even better. That right now, you but. can push a, one button and you smell like East Nashville, and then you can also fucking get banged. Well, it's mood maintenance and aromatherapy yes. Yes. in one bottle. I think mean, it's goddamn it's, genius. It's a revolution. best thing about a whisper is you don't hear a whisper, you feel a whisper. Can I tell you something? I had no idea how fucking weird you were two months ago, even compared to that. I mean, like, you are, you are a fucking mad woman. Is that chicken? Is that weed? Is that the pool water from East Park? No. Well, yes. It's E. The essence of East Nashville. Yeah. Cut. 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 You did it there. Cut. 
Cut, cut, cut. Hold on. Cut. So what did you say, cut? Okay. Cut, cut. Are we cutting now or keeping going? We got a big old pally whacker on him. It hung. Okay. Well, right. Yeah. The dog's hung. That dog is hung. <laughs> well, you can't <laughs> tell because of the sweater. Like, it's really important, you know, that it's classy and really planned out. And All my shit's classy and planned out. <laughs> and then what were you saying? Something about a girl? No, who's, who's mad about a girl to do what? A girl to do what? You need a stick. You want to come? I need, we a need place some to place to twirl. I mean, that's it. I well, mean, I know. We what if we it. fucking lock the door and pretend nobody's fucking here? That. That's a great idea. No, no. I, I, I'll make them know, you know? Shit. I don't, you know. You don't need to make a note. Just do it. Because, I, I mean, I know what I'm talking about, you know? <laughs> Play El Camino. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He almost got in a fight with a bartender in Key West because he wouldn't play that song. The bartender and all his buddies were like, play that. What are they? Who else did we get? Oh, so I forgot to tell you, we went to, um, I can't believe you haven't seen Disgraceland. Where, do we have a second to, for me to tell him this? Yeah. Well, we are good friends, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Friends interrupt each other. Right, that's right. Like let, me inter let me interrupt. <laughs> Please. Mm. Oh, look who's here. Ha! Fuck. We must take more drugs than anybody in this goddamn town, me and you. <sighs> How's your ex-wives? <laughs> Free high five. Free high five. That's uh, f -f 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 fucking unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. I apologize. Yesterday, I called you Lance. Oh, you are Lance. That's right. <laughs> you ought to be, a, you ought to be sorry. I'm sorry you were named that, man. I'm sorry he said that to you, man. Chuck coming down. You got it, Lance? Mark it. We gotta get the smoke. There's no mist. Oh, that's right. We gotta fucking start over. I totally spaced the mist. Jesus. No, I'll get missed. I said I'd get missed, it's gonna be missed. Elvis. I got it. Now, on a silver Got a bullet. Oh, woman. I went to sleep. And my love. I was up there just ready to go. I had my little kit, and and, uh, and he, you know, he came out at one point. He looked back at me and he looked at me kind of funny. And that was the point when he, you know, Hank likes to come out and play. Yeah, around. I've seen that where he kind of fakes like he yeah. does everything. Yeah, and he looked at me. Uh, anyways, I, the next, I, I thought I did a great job. So the next day we were riding back, just high fives all around on the bus. And, and he, uh, the, the road manager was a buddy of mine. His phone, his, his phone rang, and he kind of got kind of dark over there, you know. And I saw him, saying, and I was like, "What the fuck?" What? You know, everybody, you know, it looked like he was getting his ass whooped, you know. And uh, so a little while later, I said, "What's going on?" He goes, "Well, Hank," he said, "He said, drop him off." 
And he was talking about me. <laughs> that <laughs> that's all he had it. to say. That's it, you know? Oh, man. I dropped him off. Thank good. Well, you know what? Actually, I like yeah. those sequences of music. Oh, you know. But music. I wouldn't imagine that'd be a fun gig. I like him as a person. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Chuck Me, the legendary BR549 recording artist. Chuckles. Man. This is just a, like, this is a doc. This is not the Elizabeth Cook show I was telling you about. These are some douche whistles from fucking New York who are starting to wear. I like douche whistles. On a silver wing. Got a bullet. And oh, oh. She was just a kid. I should have known I was a stranger and that I would be in danger over something that I never did. Run a mile, run a mile to the river. Gonna throw off the hunting hound. Run a mile, run a mile to the river. Gonna wash away or drown. She told her mom and daddy and the vigilante crowd in town. Uh, that low leader of the country set the dogs out on me. Lord, they're gonna track me down. Well, I'd rather swing a hammer in, in an Alabama, Alabama slammer than the face was coming after me. I'm gonna jump in the river, log, then take to the water, let the what scent rush off of me. The sin, yeah. the sin wash off of me. Yeah. Run, run, what's that then? Run a mile, run, run a mile to the river. Don't throw off the hunting hound. Run a mile, run a mile to the river. I'm gonna wash away or drown. There's another verse on that. That's two? Yeah. Nice. That's great. With the three part harmony. I'd rather swing a hammer in an Alabama, Alabama slammer than the face was coming after, after me. me. I'm gonna jump in the river, let the water rush over, and the scent wash off of me. I'm a producer. Okay, place this, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna count down in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> From the Purple Building at Eleventh and Woodland, it's East Nashville tonight, starring Elizabeth Cook. like you guys are seeing the making of the making of so thank you for um indulging us through this because i've been so stressed out i've had people up my ass since i went on david letterman august 22nd of 2000 something and i think it was 11 and 
And so I've been literally getting like colonoscopy exams to make a television show. Like they're looking up my ass with a camera to see if I will shit a television show. <laughs> so CBS has been involved. David Letterman has been involved. They had drugged me from one end of this country to the other till I retreated to East Nashville to my basement and refused to come the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't go down to Australia. I fled to Australia. I fear they couldn't find me there. They found me there. I came back. I've been back in my basement. But then I got, I, I stole a dog and uh, I had to walk the dog because I felt like that was the least I could do. And so I was walking the dog and I, I ran into Todd and, and it occurred to me because I thought, who is the straightest, most organized <laughs> folk fucking hero that I know? And it's Todd Snyder. And it was like Moses was on the mountain and the skies opened and the Red Sea parted and all that shit that happens in the Bible happened. And we knew that that there was the right thing to do. So Todd has put all this together. We have um, a comedian guy coming. Well, we've got a we've got a comedian coming, coming that's gonna that we're finding out hilarious. who it's gonna be. Who it is? It's hilarious. Yeah, that's Todd funny. loves this guy and has been raving no, I know, about that's him. What someone told me. Well, <laughs> he's hilarious. <laughs> yes. I love you, this guy. <laughs> I go forth with blind faith. <laughs> no, he's so, great. He's fucking okay, hilarious. Okay, so all right, and we've got Meg from the Tomato <laughs> Fest that's gonna help us wrap our heads around, start getting our tomato spirit on eight months early. And we've got the road mangler here. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Thank you, Chuck Mead, our awesome announcer, Tim Carroll in the five spot orchestra over here in the yeah. corner. So we're gonna take a little break and we're gonna come right back with the comedian that Todd has got for us tonight that's hilarious. <laughs> Be sure to stop by the East Nashville Hip Stop for all your skinny jeans needs, ladies and gentlemen. They also have a professional competition beard and mustache groomer on duty 24 hours. Whether you're at a performance or just at the ghetto Kroger, look your best. With stuff from the East Nashville Hip Stop in five points. So I can hardly believe someone is wise as you. guest ever is a hilarious comedian. Craig Smith. Craig Smith. I thought it was David Smith. Craig Smith. No, Smith. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want, I want, this is, a, this is really going to be great. It's, we've got it planned out. We, usually you end with the comedian, but we could not end with the comedian because he has to go punch in at Las Baracas in 30 minutes. So, <laughs> welcome to East Nashville tonight, Craig Smith. Come on, dude. Of course not. Hey! Great to be back. Great to be back in East Nashville. Yeah. Oh, you guys are doing great. Do you know you're doing great? I mean, some of you are ugly, but you're still doing all right. Uh, I, uh, I placed a personal ad recently. I don't know if any of you have ever placed a personal ad, but... Uh, Mine read, uh, homicidal person seeks suicidal person for good times and mutual fulfillment. Uh, it was in the alternative lifestyle section, because that's really the ultimate alternative lifestyle. And, uh, you know, t I, I got uh, a lot of responses, and it always started off well, but then they were left satisfied, and I was left just sort of hollow and unfulfilled. Uh, and we, you know, one, one time, this one chick was like, oh, wait, stop, I want to live, I want to live. And I'm like, what? is that some sort of cry for help thing? Empty tease? No. I haven't seen her since, and uh, neither has anyone else. Uh, I'll tell you the most, uh, the most offensive joke I've ever written. Well, I, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you the clean version first. Uh, th this is the clean version. Uh, so... 
I measured my penis the other day. It was one cup. Because you would be expecting a ruler, and therein lies the joke. You follow me? I just thought, you know, you look good. Hey, we're 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 everybody. All right, yeah. Let's clap here, everybody. Let's clap here. Thank you so much. Hey, we're going to take a little break, and we're going to be right back. Who's coming up next? So uh, tell us, tell me who our next esteemed guest is you've got planned for East Nashville tonight. Somebody else How do I follow you? that? <laughs> oh, commercial. With the commercial? Yeah, go to commercial. Go to commercial. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Cook doesn't get up and look as good as she looks now. She has the help of Hair World on Gallatin Avenue. <laughs> Hair World will handle all your hair needs, whether it's cut, color, extension, or wig. We can't tell which. But it looks beautiful, am I right? Yay! Yay! for being with me here. This is our maiden voyage into talk show land and I feel just fucking terrific about it. <laughs> I can't wait Christ to show this man. to David Letterman. I just can't wait. I'm going to get on the phone and schedule that in the morning. I think uh, you might get a spot. Craig Fra Smith. You Fra gotta say his Craig name coming up. That was Craig Smith. That was Craig Smith that we just had. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, I thought we could just like not bring that up again. That was sort of, sort of where I was going to go with it. We could pretend that never happened. I thought he was hilarious. Right. Well, you. Yeah, okay. Well, all right. Well, let's see. Okay. We'll so next that up. for we'll all right. All right, we'll, we we'll will. get somebody else in charge of that show. So this this is East Nashville tonight. We we want to be a neighborhood show. We want to focus on East Nashville and everything that we love about it. We believe that East Nashville has its little specific details and things, but that these things relate on a global level. For example, the Fantastic Tomato Festival. So yeah. we have the what? Did she start it? Did she start the Tomato she Festival? Invented Good it. God damn! We've got the inventor <laughs> of the Tomato Festival. Everybody, I want you to welcome to East Nashville tonight. This is a man from the Tomato Fest. Come on. circumstances I would have blue cards with questions for you on it mm -hmm. this is not that so um, we'll, we'll cut some of those out later okay can you do that for me all right okay so all right so tomato festival that's your thing right you're the lady when all this crazy like red goes on and there's people walking around in red and the homeless people are like red everybody's red that's the tomato fest absolutely this is going to be our 10th year it's a big year we're going to have a parade again to start it off there's going to be the bloody mary contest as usual dog contest lots of boosts lots of fun and, and great music how too. do you win a dog contest um <laughs> well um there's a costume that, uh contest that is tomato oriented but we rarely have actual tomato dogs so I want you're the person that can answer this question sure I know you are mm -hmm. um wasn't there like some the Mayans or some people like that thought that tomatoes were poisonous for a long time and they didn't eat tomatoes because they thought they were poisonous for a long time until some asshole finally ate one and they're like that's delicious and then <laughs> you know I don't you know, know I don't know anything Todd told me that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He also told you about that comedian. He did. Right. Yeah. He this is great. This is great. Well, this you know, they so often great. say instead of an apple, it was a tomato that Eve tempted Adam with. Really? Yeah. It makes sense because that's more like a cervix. A absolutely. Right. And, uh, Tomatoes are more like a there's, sex. It's a sexy. There's a discharge factor it's there. Sexy. And, and that's pretty important. Ooh. Well, hey, I want to thank you for coming by and being willing. I mean, that's a lot to make a tomato festival. How? When is it? How far away is it? Like, we're eight months, six um, months out? I, I think it's in... Is it an obvious? Dude, Isn't I can't obvious? do this. She's too nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not I mean, Meg. This is the first fucking thing that's 
<laughs> you know, Meg couldn't make it, and your producer asked if I would come out. So you don't even know when the tomato fest. Do you I know have no is? fucking <laughs> idea. I'm so sorry. Jesus Christ. All right, well, all right, we're gonna take a break because clearly there's some shit we need to work out. We'll be right back after this with Bill Kaufman, ladies and gentlemen. We're really excited, you know, as you know, East Nashville is full of amazing characters outside of the ones that are here tonight. And uh, that's why we were able to make a quick call to a trailer park up on Dickerson Pike and bring out the, the one and only. He's got a brand new book called Road Mangler Deluxe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to East the Nashville real. tonight. The real. the real Road Mangler, it's the real Phil <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna snuggle that so hard. Um, hey, is that you really on there? Yeah, um, I was cute and guilty. I'm guessing you were uh, smelling like smoke in this picture. Yeah, I had uh, some Mexican flora in the back of my car when I was coming across the border. Oh, okay, so this isn't after you stole the body from the airport. No, picture. no, no, okay. no, no, no. Okay. All right, well, hey, so... Well, that's for me. For, for anybody that doesn't know... <laughs> it wasn't for drinking drugs and a dead guy. I wouldn't have had a career. <laughs> hey, when I'm on the road and I'm backstage and I see you back there, it's just like a huge sigh of relief. Well, thank you. And it's, I make sure I'm not wearing anything flammable. Yeah. <laughs> for anybody that doesn't know, Phil Kaufman here is a road manager the best, the legends in the business. Tell us about some of the people that have stuck out in your mind that you've worked with over well, the years. Well, I started in six with the Rolling Stones and Beggar's Banquet. And at that time, we were all hats, brunettes. Hats. Uh, it's like I'm at the and, Museum and, of Awesome. When we, I first came back with Emmy Lou after, after Graham died, uh, we were in a little motel, and uh, I came and knocked on Emmy Lou's door, and she's standing there holding a towel up like this. And I, she said, what do you want? Four. I said, um, <laughs> <laughs> I should have said stick them up, but, uh, <laughs> but she, she's holding a towel, and, and I said, well, Hey, you want to leave? You need an hour to leave, two hours to leave. And I said, Rodney Cross, said, Rodney, come here, let's talk to Emmy. And, she, and then the other band member says, Come on, come on, what time do you think we should leave? She says, I don't give a goddamn one to leave. And she closes the door and she screams because it was a full length mirror in the back of the room. Oh. <laughs> so, are you saying, uh, let me get this straight, are you saying that you've seen Emmy Lou Harris's ass? Got it. I did right. indeed. Yeah. Does it does it sing a, harmony? A finer fanny that I'd have never seen. <laughs> I'm sure. So tell me, tell me a little bit about about this. What is this? Is this the story? Is this all the story? It, Some a, of the story? Well, it's uh, I don't know if people don't know it. Uh, uh, I worked with Graham Parsons. And Graham Parsons, Woo! yeah, still yeah. dead. Still dead. Uh, <laughs> but he did quit smoking. <laughs> after, after a fashion. <laughs> Graham and I made a promise to each other. If one of us should die, the other would take the body out to Joshua Tree, burn it, burn the body, and not have one of those great, horrible funerals that people have. Uh, so anyhow, he, he died. And I went out to the airport in the disguise of, uh, the guys rather, moving the body from that airport to another airport, a private plane. And, and I had a hearse, so. And we took the, we got the body and took him out to the desert and we stopped along the way and I got five gallons of high test gas. I didn't want him to ping. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're such a friend. Such a friend. But anyhow, we, 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 actually, we actually did. We I honored his wish and uh, we, we burned the body and wished him well. And uh, they made a film with it. Johnny Knoxville uh, plays, plays me in the film. It's called Grand Theft Parsons. And uh, yeah. it's a talkie in color. 
it's, a, it's, got all, it's got all this stuff. I'm the oldest, probably right now, oldest road manager that's still working. I'll be 78 in April. And, uh, too soon. <laughs> Don't do that, no. <laughs> so on that day, and we hope it's no time soon that, you know, that happens, but it happens, right? What do you want done with your, your body? Are we going to swing through the BP and head out to Shelby Bottoms, or what are we going to do? Five gallons of high test, please. It's only fair. Right? Don't want to ping my way to heaven. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody, feel confident, everybody. And look at all that at the end. You're a TV producer. Fuck yeah. I'm Barbara fucking Walters. We did it. We did this shit. We did it. Boom. I told you we could do it. Oh, hell yeah. We're the greatest. Bah, 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 bah. I like the Muhammad Ali of this shit. Is this a movie? I don't know. Is this a documentary? Or a music video? Are or you or like Fellini? And I'm like, you know, the girl on the beach? Teasing yeah. the 13-year-old boys? I mean, like, what are, are is this Heartburn Highways? I mean, what is... Let's do the beach thing. You want the eight and a half? I've never heard about that. Eight and a half. <laughs> See that woman in the corner, brother, she knows. Every inch of my body, every mile of my soul. Used to shake them on down to the blazing day. What you doing here tonight? Be there. Way. Going down to the well no more. If I had my fear, work that ground. I don't got so Ain't going back down to the way Going down to the way No more Leave I had my head Work that ground till I just got so They never put a lid on a crab basket I hear it's cause them fishermen know them crabs keep each other down I meet people on the road all the time in the same kind of casket I say, man, you gotta get out of that old crab shack town to be yourself I say it's easier said than it's done you learn everything you know from somebody else don't see any reason in the world why you couldn't grow up to be anyone
got the best bars in the world right here in East Nashville. You know how sometimes I like to show up in the early afternoon. Why sometimes by 4.20 I'm feeling so good I'm not to pull out some of these old guitars and sing everybody a couple, you know. But come on up and see me sometime. Two thugs that we brought along with us. 